Oh, you can help me, sir. Pray to God you can help me. No one in this world seems to care. <laughs> oh, it's my husband. He's been sick for five months. Five agonizing months. If you so much touch him, he screams out. Why or how he got it, nobody knows. Oh, you don't know how I've suffered during his illness. I've nursed him from morning till night. Besides taking care of the children and cleaning the house and feeding the dog, the cat, and my sister's bird, who's sick, she gets dizzy spells. She's getting dizzier and dizzier every day. My sister, <laughs> not the bird. <laughs> and then, when I went to pick up my husband's paycheck, they deducted 24 rubles and 36 kopecks. For what? I asked. It won't give it to me because I'm a woman, weak and defenseless. Do not take advantage of me because I'm a weak and defenseless woman. All I ask is that you look at this doctor's note and then I'll go. You didn't read it. We'll read it slower. Let it sink in this time. <gasps> did, I, did I tell you I haven't eaten in three days? I faint at the least provocation. Watch. <gasps> did you see that? <gasps> Eight times a day that happens. <gasps> Are you saying you're not going to help me? Do, do. A curse. A curse on this bank. May the money in your cellars turn to onions. May the gold in your vaults turn to potatoes. May your rubles turn to radishes and your kopecks to pickles. 24 rubles and 36 kopecks. That's all I ask, not a penny more. And one more ruble for the ride home. What, I I'd walk, but I have very weak ankles. Oh, God bless you, sir. You're a kind man. I removed the curse. Curse be gone! <laughs> Onions to money. Potatoes to gold. <laughs> <laughs>